Juneteenth is also coming up uh, on June 19th. Uh, this will pay tribute to the um, to the end of the Civil War when Major General Gordon Granger uh, led Union soldiers to Galveston, Texas. Um, and with that came the freedom of all enslaved people. So uh, met with the team last week and we walked through and talked through some of the things that we're doing. We're actually pairing up with Vicenza um, and we're gonna do it here in Area D. Uh, June 19th from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. So an all-day event. Lots of things that they're going to do. Uh, they've thought deliberately through this. Um, and this year, uh, the theme is to remember, educate, and inspire the community. And I think educate, that center word, is probably the most important one. So I'd ask those that are listening to um, take some time, come out to Area D with your entire family. Um, and let's work to educate uh, our younger team, our younger families on the importance of this day um, and why we celebrate it, right? I think uh, the things that the team has put together are really, really good. Uh, the chapel is continuing to work on some things that, that they find important uh, for our entire community and one that they've been working on for a really long time is ASSIST. Um, and that's Applied Suicide Intervention Skill Training. Uh, they've been putting these on, it seems like, every other week. Um, and I know that, the, that this is a very important um, program that we have here. And it's designed for airmen to come and learn about some of the signs as it applies to suicide. And then what do they do and who can they contact? It doesn't take the place of any mental health provider. But what it does is it allows like a first response, if you will. But I, my hope and prayer is that the culture in this wing, that's everyone taking part, um, believes in the importance of connection and love and respect and uh, being there and, and sometimes just lending a listening ear and not feeling compelled to have to fix problems, but just listen to someone as they share their problems. But Chief and I just feel very honored to serve you all and serve with you all as we continue to get after the mission, but we do it in a way where we are uh, war fighters and we have that warfighter ethos, but we also are caring and compassionate. And as we work hand in hand with our Italian partners and friends here and work uh, with many other partners, 